Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to paint this cauldron for Halloween, but I got really busy, so I guess better late than never. Um, this is a piece of cradled wood uh, from Arteza or Arteza. I will link it in the description for you. I've covered it with a couple of layers of acrylic gesso, and I've got three layers actually, and then I've sanded it down with this sanding block. Then I have sketched my cauldron on there and first I'm going to give this uh, an acrylic underpainting and then it's going to be an oil painting so first I'm going to use brown or burnt umber craft acrylic paint it's a lot easier to paint over an acrylic underpainting with oil that way you don't have to use so much oil and I just find it's a lot easier so the first thing I'm going to do is block in all of my values, so my light and my dark areas. And I'm going to start with just this small flat brush. actually did paint one of these around Halloween and then uh, didn't save some of the videos <laughs> so it was all it was missing a bunch of uh, sections of the video so I couldn't use it and then by the time I got around to like repainting it. I was out of time and it was past Halloween, but I'm going to give it another shot. Most of this part is going to get covered up with stuff coming out of the cauldron anyway, but still want to block everything in. I am not super experienced with oil paint, but I have been forcing myself to use it in practice. I'm going to switch to brown here. After I get this cauldron blocked in, I'm going to tape it off so that I can paint the background. <clears throat> I'm going to switch to a small angle brush. It doesn't have to be angled, I just, it's the only small one this size that I have. so. And I'm going to switch to this uh, Filbert brush. It's kind of worn out, so it's like puffy on the end. 
Uh, it's not super flat like this one is. Oops, this one is really flat. I'm gonna use switch to this one just so I get like a, a better uh, gradual shift in values. I'm gonna do some fire down here, so. I'm just using this cloth over here to wipe off my brush. This underpainting is going to help with the depth, the values, so that when I paint over it with oil, uh, it just it's just it's just going to help. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm not an expert here, but and. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. It's early. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. But just trust me. Especially if you're not super experienced with oil. This is a great way to practice and learn. And get you familiar with using oil. I didn't learn this from anybody. This is just something I started randomly doing, and I was like, hey, that kind of works. So, So again, just working on values, I'm going to have uh, the bottom of the cauldron lit up with fire, so I'm going to leave that part light. Whoopsie. And oh, that's what I was going to say. And I'm not making this underpainting even as you can see there's like some light spots and some darker spots and that's going to help give me some like texture on my cauldron so that it kind of looks like it's all beat up as long as i don't overdo it with the oil over top of it you're still going to be able to see all that texture light right here well I guess I'll have to do it over here now because I've already like kind of covered that up but I'll do the lightest part over there so this will be the darkest side
Now I'm going to get out some more craft paint. This is Mars Orange and Sangria Red. This is going to be for the part of the cauldron that's going to be lit up. No, I think that was way too much paint. I'm going to switch to another clean brush. It's like this one. It's just a little bit bigger and it's big. And it's clean. So down here at the brightest point, I'm going to kind of go over that. Blend it. Not really blend it because the black is already dry. But paint right over top of that black. And then wipe off my brush and grab some of the red. That's too much red. Just kind of mix that right in with that orange. And this is going, I'm going to have a little more fire over here on this side. So I'm going to do this. a little more red and this is just the underpainting this is not how it's going to finally look again like I've said several times just blocking in values This is probably going to end up being a fairly long tutorial because of all the underpainting that I have to do on it. I just licked my finger. <laughs> That's probably gross. A lot of people, but it helps with acrylic, guys. You do what you got to do. This is going to be my lightest point over here, and I actually went a little too dark, so I'm going to grab some white and see if I can't. Oh my god, I almost spilled all of that water. I'm going to grab some white and see if I can't fix that. God, my brushes are so old and crusty. A little bit of light hitting it right here. Just make sure I got all of that white covered up. This is just going to be from the reflection of the fire. Okay. And now, let's see, what else can we do to this cauldron before I tape it off? Alright, so while I have, like before I start to add oil, I want to do everything in acrylic that I need to do. So I'm going to use some Viridian Green, because that's going to be the color of my smoke. Oh gosh. This is uh, Golden Fluid Acrylics, by the way. And I'm going to take some, oh gosh, my brushes. I need new brushes so bad. So I'm going to put some of Viridian green here because again I want to get all of my acrylic done before I start adding any oil at all
All right. Um, now I'm going to do my uh, background acrylic. I don't know if I should tape this off first. I'm not going to. I'm going to do the background acrylic before taping it off. So I'm going to dry this real quick. My burnt number. Uh oh, I need to focus. Sorry, I didn't realize we were going in and out of focus. Is that better? Okay. Now I want the brightest part to be here and here. So I'm going to go over the edges. This is a mop brush, oh gosh, that I'm obviously ruining. This is a mop brush, the three quarter inch. It's oval from Hobby Lobby. And since I did my black first, it's okay if I just go right over top of it. I do recommend using a mop brush for this just because you're gonna get like a softer edge instead of like a hard edge and you're going to see that through your oil paint if you if you paint a hard edge you're going to see like that hard line as opposed to this soft edge so not a lot of paint on my brush And I always start in the places I want it to be the darkest. So I don't want a lot of dark brown up here, but I've just re-dipped my paint brush in the paint. So I'm gonna start down here where I know I want it to be dark because there's more paint on my brush. And once that starts to run out, I'll go up here so that I don't get a big glob of brown paint at the top. I think I'll put some smoke down here on the bottom as well, around the fire. Dark around the fire. People ask me all the time, how do you paint fire? How do you make it look like it's glowing? It's all in the colors that you use. You got to use the right colors. And you got to get the values around the fire or glowing area right. You got to get the values right. And to me, in my opinion, that all starts with your underpainting. All right, now I just need a little bit more paint at the top, so I'm going to wipe a lot of that off with my brush. Gosh, that was a lot. I don't want it to be just solid white up here, but I want it to stay white. So very little paint. We just kind of dry brush right over top of it. I got a big white spot right there. Don't really want that, but. Okay, I think that's it for my underpainting. I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna tape off my cauldron. Now you can use 
uh, Scotch Blue Painter's Tape, number 2090. But I like to use this black painter's tape. I got this on Amazon, and the only reason I use the black instead of the blue is just because it looks better in my videos on Instagram and YouTube. So you could totally use regular blue painter's tape. And to tape all of this off, I'm just going to use my little baby scissors. And I'm just going to start somewhere and start going around the shape. This part takes quite a while, so I will be speeding this up. I'll show you a couple little sections. So I'm just kind of bending the tape around the edge there. All right, so now I've got that taped off. I've got my acrylic underpainting done. I'm gonna switch to oil now. I wanna get out a new plate. I'm gonna use Windsor & Newton oil. This is fast drying oil. It dries to the touch in about 24 hours and after about a week you can uh, paint over it, do whatever you want. I'm going to use black, white, burnt sienna, cad yellow. Oh, that's it. Cad yellow. Red. Deep red. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Prussian blue. Viridian green. I'm going to use this long flat brush. This is the number seven from the Deco Clarity set, but any flat brush will be fine. And I'm going to start with my red around the outside. Try to be real loose with it. Don't like try don't overthink it. Wipe that off. Go in with my yellow. And just kind of blend that together. A little bit in the middle. Wipe that off again. Grab some white. Really 
And then with <clears throat> the small makeup brush, I'll link them in the description. They're just makeup brushes. This one's soft. I'm going to just kind of swirl and blend those colors together. And then I'll come back in and add more detail to the fire. Wipe off some of the paint. And then uh, I'm going to grab another Filbert brush. This is like the one that I used for the underpainting on the cauldron. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab some black and go around the side. I'm not going right over top of the, the red and the yellow yet. I got a new chair, guys. I think I mentioned in my last one that my old chair was, in the last video, that my old chair was about to bite the dust. I finally caved and got another one. And I had to sit my old chair out on the curb for the trash people to pick up. And I felt really bad for my old chair. Seeing it sit down in the cold. <laughs> I was like, that's just pitiful. That makes me, it made me really sad. Now I'm going to take that same little makeup brush and kind of blend in the black and the, the yellow and red colors. Speaking of trash, I hear my trash guy right now. Or girl, it could be a girl. I don't know. I'm going to wipe that off. Wipe off my brush that I just used for all the black and grab a little bit of white and I'm going to add some smoke. So just real loosely. Wipe this brush off again and then swirl to add some smoke. Just swirl until you're happy with it. <clears throat> now I'm going to add some more depth to it so that it's not just like super blended. So I'm going to pick a couple little areas to add a little more smoke. So that it kind of looks like layers of smoke. And try not to over blend it.
feel like I got a little more over there than I do over here. I'm gonna add just a touch more. <clears throat> Wiping off my brush in between. Now, I can't use that brush now. I've got too much white on it, so I'm going to grab another one. And move on up with my black. I'll have to redraw my handles because I didn't tape those off, but that's all right. Oops. Taking some of that white smoke, pulling it up. I think I kind of like the fire like that instead of, kind of like it smoky like that. I was going to add some more details, but I think I'm actually going to leave it alone. Maybe just a touch more white here and there. And then with another clean and dry makeup brush. That might have been too much white. Hopefully not. Back to my first one with the black on it. You already used a ton of brushes here. Uh, now let's do some. Uh, now I want to do the smoke up here last, so I'm going to start on the cauldron now. And the reason I did the tape, okay, was so that I could do the background around the cauldron without getting a whole bunch of paint where I want to paint my cauldron and since this is oil you know it's probably going to mud get muddy and I'm again not that experienced with oil and I don't like to use mediums so this keeps my colors from getting muddy Okay, now I'm going to start on this cauldron, and I think I'll use my flat brush. Uh, this is the one that I used on the black. So I'm going to start uh, let me see how this dark red and cad yellow looks together. That's fine. So dark red and cad yellow. I'm just going to start sweeping. It's still got some black in it, but it's fine. And more yellow as I go down here. Ah, there's too much red. I forgot. And a little bit of white to make it real bright at the bottom. I 
Don't over blend it. Don't overwork it. <clears throat> Just using lots of different colors in lots of different places. Let's try some of this burnt sienna too and white. Some yellow. Burnt sienna. White. Ah, oh, that's a bad color. <clears throat> More yellow. All right, now I'm going to start working into my uh, white and my Prussian blue. That's a little green. That is really bright. I'm going to grab some black, kind of blend that in with it. Really looking for more of a purple, so I'm going to grab blue and the red and white. Oh, that's much better right there. That's way better. Um, let's actually try, I'm gonna try some Payne's Gray. I can find it. I think Payne's Gray would be nice for this. I can get it open. Oh my god, it's like stuck. <laughs> oh my god. Well, luckily I have two of the Payne's Gray because I can't get that one open. Alright, Payne's Gray. a nicer blue for this. Just kind of go right over top of it. And some black. I over blended that part. I'm probably gonna have to come back in and like work on that some. And now I'm going too far. So I'm gonna take this little clean blendy brush and just kind of blend those colors in together. <clears throat> Payne's gray white just lots of different colors not just one solid black for the cauldron adding a little more white here just to add like a little highlight Kind of blend it out and around. Black up here. Oh, this chair is already squeaking.
darkest side of the cauldron. A bit of paints gray and white. <clears throat> yeah. Just to make the cauldron look round. So like my highlighted area is going to be here. That's the part of the cauldron that sticks out the most around this part. Paints gray, white, not that much white. Just kind of blend that into the yellow or orange, whatever color I got going there. Clean up the edge. clean brush to paint that little spot right there that I forgot. So I'm going to use some of the burnt sienna and yellow. Just kind of blend that right into that Payne's gray and black. It's going to make a little bit of a green, but it doesn't matter because there's going to be lots of colors reflecting off of this cauldron. I'm just sweeping. <clears throat> Wipe off my brush and blend that a little bit. I'm going to try to add a little bit of more white around the bottom, but I hope I don't ruin it. To really kind of brighten it up down here. Ah. This may not be the best brush for this. Oh gosh, don't slip. And just sort of blend that into the other colors. Oh, that's got yellow on it. Whoopsie. This is a little brush that I used for the smoke. 
I'm just kind of kind of soften up that edge. So that it kind of looks like there's a little bit of smoke around the cauldron and not just behind it. You're fine. But I am recording. Okay. But I am recording. And I'm going to grab a little more white. And just do a little more highlight here. This is just a small flat brush. Just kind of blend that out. Now I'm going to do around the front and then just a little bit on the sides. Oh, we got to do the legs too. Let's do the legs. I'm just going to go right over top of my fire. I didn't need that. Just kind of make it look like it's disappearing. into the fire so more paint up here and then just let it blend right into the fire at the bottom Thank you, buddy. And do the handles with a little bit of highlight. I'm just going over it first with black. And then Put some highlight on it with <clears throat> Payne's gray and white. We could do like a yellow burnt sienna and white fire reflection on the bottom of the handles here. I hope that's not too much paint on my brush. It's really subtle. Good. Let's do a little more over here. Can 
can barely see that on the camera, but it looks really nice in person. I think that's it for the cauldron pretty happy with that um now uh, let's do the outer rim here with paints gray and white so i ended up not really using the prussian blue at all My throat hurts today. Did you already eat your breakfast? No. What? He's asleep with us. So Payne's gray around the edge and then black right next to it. I do not have a very steady hand. And then I'm just going to blend those together a little bit. I don't want like a hard line. And I went a little too overboard right there, so I'm going to grab some more Payne's gray and white. Oop, not enough white. Or whatever's bubbling in here. I need a fawn to the smoke. And I'm just going to use this flat um, filbert brush. Or a filbert brush. And I'm going to start with Viridian Green down in here. Now this is where the underpainting was really going to help because if I tried to paint this filbert or this viridian green over top of white, it would be so transparent that you just wouldn't even really be able to see it. I forgot cad yellow light, sorry. So it's just a lighter yellow. And I'm going to start to add yellow to the Viridian Green. And then with a clean... Uh, that's got a little bit of blue in it, but I don't have another one clean. I'm going to try to wipe it off. Uh, it's got a little angle on it, but I think it'll be okay. And I'm going to swirl these together. Add some more yellow. And with a flat brush, I'm going to start adding my green and stuff up here. So 
green around here. Real random with it. Don't try to make it perfect because then it won't look like smoke or fog. Some yellow. Back to my black brush. Fill in around it. Blend it right into that green. I'm going to have to use one of my dirty ones because I need to keep this one as clean as possible for the final, like, the final blending touches. So I'm going to start here in the black and I'm going to just kind of start swirling into that green. Pull some of the green out, pull some, push some of the green or the black in. May need some more paint on this. off this brush and I think I need more yellow. Mm. Let's see, some more yellow in here. Blend that a little bit. The angle on this makeup brush is really messing with me. And here comes my cat. Hi, buddy. Meow. I almost made it through a whole tutorial. Yeah. He said, you didn't tell me you were doing a tutorial? I would have came in here sooner to bother you. No, don't, don't. Bro, quit. Why does he do that? Dude, stop. Alright. I need some more black around the edges. Don't quite have... Dude, stop. Don't quite have enough paint up here. Like I can see my wood or canvas through it. And I'm going to take this slightly bigger brush. This is also in that makeup brush set. Use it to blend into the green. Stop. 
still don't have enough black paint right there. I can see like the wood through it. You probably can't see that, but I can. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna touch up this little part here where I got like too much black in the middle. Oh, that part is killing me. All right, now for the final touches on the smoke, I'm going to grab white. This is the same green brush I was using. Wipe off my brush. And don't over blend. That looks pretty cool. We could paint a little stir stick, like a stir branch down in there, I guess, but I don't know. I'm gonna bring some of this spilling over the sides. I'm going to do just a little bit coming off the side again, a little more. I need to stop before I mess it up. Alright, that's all I've got for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if you like it. Uh, have a good day.